Hi guys. Today I'm going to show you how to add a realistic leaks to your model using Substance Painter. In here I'm going to use a couple of grunge textures. You can use this method for any model, especially objects like buildings and industrial models. As you know, the Substance Painter has a built-in particle feature for leaks. But in my opinion, it doesn't look realistic and doesn't have more control over the model. First, let's try applying leaks with the Substance Painter particle system. Let's get started. Load your model into the Substance Painter. In here, I'm not going to bake any textures because I'm not going to use any generators. Create a fill layer. Add a dark color. Increase the roughness. Create a black mask and add paint. Click on the leaks particle and set the normal factor to zero. You can change the particle life and spawn spread attributes to get some decent leaks on your model. Now let's add some leaks with grunge textures and see how it looks. This time, add a fill to the mask. Then drag and drop leaks texture to grayscale. In here, I'm using the grunge map 006. Apply the triplanar projection. Scale it along the Y axis. Move and rotate the texture until you get a decent look. Play with the contrast and the balance on the texture settings. Add paint above the fill. Go to the polygon fill and change the color selection to black. Now select all the objects on the model. This will remove all the leaks from the model. Change the blending mode to multiply. Go to the paint mode and select the concrete light brush. Make sure you have white color on the grayscale of the paintbrush. Lower the back face calling to something like 65. Then paint on your model like this.
Add another paint to the mask and paint on the top of your model. Now duplicate the leaks layer. This time, add a normal grunge texture for the mask. Adjust the contrast and balance as per your preference. Add another grunge and set the blending mode to multiply. Add a paint above the two grunge masks. Set grayscale of the paintbrush to black and remove unnecessary grunge of the model. Add AHSL perceptive filter for the base layer and lower the saturation and lightness values to make your model look older. What is the most realistic way to add leaks to your model? Particle system or grunge texture? Comment down your thoughts below. Thank you for watching. See you next time.